Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow Hans von Spakovsky joins me now. Hans, uh, do they have any legal ground, any merit to this suit in your, in your opinion? Well, on the one hand, uh, the critics are saying that uh, appointing uh, any individual into a spot that requires Senate confirmation is a violation of the Appointments Clause of the Constitution. The Justice Department, on the other hand, points to the fact that these kind of temporary appointments have been going on since George Washington was president, up to and including Barack Obama. And they also say the president complied with the Federal Vacancies Reform Act, which gave the president uh, the power to do this. Uh, I don't think anybody can predict how the Supreme Court's going to rule on this issue, but uh, y y Clarence Thomas, however, has raised doubts about the constitutionality of that federal law. It is a temporary appointment, though, 200-some-odd right. uh, days? That's right, 210 days uh, only, unless the president, in the meantime, nominates the permanent replacement for the AG. In that case, the acting attorney general can uh, stay in that position until the Senate deals with the nomination. Hans, the, the notion, though, that, uh, that Matthew Whitaker was critical of the Mueller investigation at some point in his career, whether it was a week ago or a year ago, right. how, how relevant is that? Because it feels like the kind of things that you, you hear during these Supreme Court hearings that, or, or anything else where people have a chance to have an opinion uh, when they're not in a job, but we expect them to have a certain level of professionalism once they are, you know, once they ascend to a certain position. I actually think that's the best way to analyze this. Look, he's been criticized for making remarks when he was acting as a political pundit. He was not working for the government. He didn't have access to any of the information that the special counsel has. And the, the, the uh, statements that he's made actually seem to be factually true. And i just give you a quick example. He said at one point, and he's being criticized for this, that uh, there doesn't seem to be any um, uh, obstruction of justice charge to be had here. Well, look, it's the longtime policy of the Justice Department that a sitting president can't be criminally indicted or charged. So if Bob Mueller actually follows Justice Department policy, he can't file an obstruction of justice charge no matter what he finds. So uh, it, the, is it just political theater then? Because it stands to reason yeah. that if, 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 if Matthew Whitaker's out, uh, you know, maybe the Democrats may be a, <laughs> feel bad because maybe the next person who, uh, who gets uh, the job uh, might be someone that they feel is even more harmful to whatever their agenda might be here. Yeah, I think that this is really political theater. Uh, I think the Democrats would be criticizing no, uh, anyone that the president had appointed as the acting AG, and I suspect that when uh, the president nominates the permanent replacement, they're going to criticize that individual no matter who it is. Yeah, all right. Uh, these lawsuits are just nuts. It's driving us all crazy. Thanks a lot, Hans. Really appreciate it. Sure thing.